So, you join me today at a private syndicate in Lincolnshire. I'm on a guest ticket with my dad. My dad's uh, my dad joined it this year, so guesting with him just for the day. Uh, yeah, uh, nice place. About two and a half acres. This lake that we're on. Um, not got anything of any decent size, and to be honest, but you know. If we can catch uh, a double-figured carp, I'll be happy with that today because I've actually not fished this year yet and it's the end of April now, so <laughs> I'll be happy to get a bend in the rod, um, no matter what the size. So yeah, um, flew the drone around earlier and hopefully captured that footage and yeah, lovely place. Um, I've got three rods out, my dad's got two rods out. My dad's chose the peg nearest to the island, um, so I think he's got good chance of uh, sneaking one or two in before we finish. I'm more or less fishing two rods out in open water in the middle of the lake and I've got my, my left hand rod towards the far margin just in front of some overhanging branches which looks really inviting. It just looks like carp will use that area to for safety. So yeah that rod is actually only about a foot in front of the overhanging branches so I'm quite confident that that might be the one. So yeah, uh, the one towards that far margin is I've got a leadless leader on, helicopter setup with um, a stiff hinge rig with a pop up. Uh, my middle rod is similar setup with a with a different colour pop up on, and then my third rod, which is next to that rod, is just a simple knotless knot pair rig with a wafter on and um, yeah at the moment I've actually not put any freebies out um, I've got a little mesh bag tied just to try and nick a bite and if I do get a bite then I might just put a couple of spoms out over the top but at the moment I just want to try and nick a bite first uh, yeah when I arrived I was given the heads up by my dad that it was quite a silty and choddy lake which deemed to be true when I was leading about. Spent a good 10 or 15 minutes leading around and found some cleanish areas uh, which wasn't clean as such. It was very silty and still a little bit choddy but it was clean silt. You know you'd check your lead, you'd smell it and it wasn't too bad. Um, but there were some areas where it was really sort of smelly silt which wasn't very uh, appealing to put a rig on it. So. Yeah, so as far as it goes, I went as clean as possible with my rig placement, which is my, my main goal, really. My two main goals is to locate the fish and fish effectively for that situation. So yeah, that's why I've gone down the helicopter route set up with, with the lead arrangement, which isn't something I normally do, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing all I can to uh, fish as effectively as possible. There are some snags in here, so I do think a leader it's probably the right way to go as well because uh, you know I'd hate to be cut off or you know have a fish swimming around with with my rig. So yeah, um, apart from that, all is quiet, but all is good. The sun's out, sort of. The rain's staying away, and yeah, um, fingers crossed we're going to get a bite or two. So my dad got in on the action first. This was from his um, rod from the other side of the lake. And um, yeah, it was about six or seven pounds. We didn't wait, but it was nice to see a fish on the bank. So hopefully you can see this. It's a really fine mixture of crumbed up boilie and a couple of different types of pellets with some krill powder in, krill meal, sorry. And the reason why I wanted to use that today is with it being a silty bottom, I want this sort of light ground bait to just filter through the layers nice and gently and just sit on top of the silt. If I was to fire in whole boilies, they'd just sink into the silt. And yeah, they would get eaten over time, but how long would that take? You know, it could take a couple of days for them to actually rummage through the silt, find the boilies, and then they're eating. But at least with this, they can see it, it's visible. And there's more chance of me catching a quick bite on today's day session fishing this way.
So I managed to catch a very small common, which was probably about one pound from the open water area. Um, I didn't record any of that, obviously. It was a bit on the small side. And I couldn't help but notice there was a koi swimming around very close into my swim. And yeah, it looked a little pretty thing. So I've never caught a koi before, but that's definitely a, a target fish for those who were fortunate to fish this place. Thankfully, I got something a little bit bigger than the last fish, which was fished from a far margin. And this was just the single hook bait on the um, hinge stiff rig. And um, yeah, I was really happy to get this. It was similar size to the old man's common, about seven or eight pounds. But I was um, very happy to get something like this. So at this point, it was quite tough going. It was your typical spring weather with your clear skies. And the fish were in the upper layers mainly. So fishing on the bottom was difficult. Um, I didn't really come prepared because it was just going to be a short day session. So I didn't bring any of my surface gear and I didn't bring any zigs. So I persevered fishing on the bottom um, and it was really tough going. But fortunately, my dad got into something else, which was rough, roughly the same size as um, the other fish that we've caught. So seven or eight pounds and um, yeah that was the final fish of the day um, but we both really enjoyed ourselves it's um, not very often we do get to fish together uh, we're both from different parts of the country um, but no um, this was my first attempt at any sort of vlogging and recording so for anyone who's tried it before it's really not easy um, but I've, um, I've enjoyed it it's just going to be a hobby for me um, and yeah, thank you to the um, Syndicate members for allowing me to come on as a guest. Uh, it's really appreciated. Um, it's a lovely water. And um, yeah, I uh, just want to thank everyone for watching.